99% of people want to change their circumstances before they change inside. If I only had that job, if I only had the house, then I would be happy. If I only had the perfect partner, I would be happy. If I only had, if I only looked more beautiful, I'd be happy. But this is not how reality works. Have you ever wondered why some people attract abundance effortlessly while others seem to struggle no matter how hard they try? Well, my loves, the answer lies in the law of vibration. In this video, I'm going to share with you how the law of vibration works, why it is so important, and why it is almost more important than the law of assumption slash the law of attraction. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa, and on this channel, we talk all about manifesting your highest desires and creating your reality. So if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so you get notified whenever I post a new video. Make sure you stick to the end of this video because I'm going to be sharing with you all about the law of vibration. These days, everybody seems to want to manifest. Everybody's into manifesting, the law of assumption, creating their best life, right? I discovered the law of attraction in 2006. I was 16 at that time. That's when I first discovered it and I've been using it ever since. So when it comes to manifesting our highest life and reaching our goals, it's crucial and so important to know that there isn't just one law, aka the law of attraction, the law of assumption, right? There are many other universal laws, but the one law that I'm going to explain in this video is the law of vibration because we can't really take into consideration the law of assumption without taking into without knowing about these other laws knowing about the law of vibration will give you leverage and it will help you manifest your highest desires so here's the thing the entire universe vibrates nothing ever stands still everything in this universe is vibrating at a certain frequency from the tiniest particle to the vast galaxies everything emits its own frequency. Your chair that you're sitting on emits its own frequency. You are emitting your own frequency. Your pet is emitting its own frequency. And just like the symphonies of life, your specific vibration determines your reality. And this mostly happens subconsciously. And something I share in my Dripping in Diamonds masterclass was, and this is really hard for some people to actually grasp, but I'm gonna share it with you and I'm gonna repeat it, so pay close attention. You cannot perceive that which you are not a vibration of. I'm gonna say it again. You cannot perceive that which you are not a vibration of. What does that mean? That means that, let's say you are stressed out, right? There is something that happened Maybe it's financial pressure. Let's just say you have some financial stress and pressure and you need to pay a large bill by a certain amount of time and you just don't know how it's gonna happen. So in that state of stress, right? From the perspective of the law of vibration, what frequency are you currently residing on, right? You're probably in a very low frequency. And from, because you're stressed out, you're in fear, right? And these vibrations are lower frequencies. So from that specific frequency, you cannot perceive the solution. So let's say that there's a specific solution that um, resides on a frequency over here. In that state of stress, you cannot see that solution because you get tunnel vision right and the moment that you kind of step back the moment that you relax and let go that's when the solutions come to you because in the moment that you let go right our vibration isn't always the same it's constantly changing based on our thoughts our behaviors the things that happen around us our stress our vibration is that we have a certain specific baseline of vibration in as who we are but our vibration also changes throughout the day right based on our feelings emotions patterns behaviors and all of those things another way that i can explain is is that our vision is like we think we can see everything in the physical world but we cannot see things that only a microscope can see we cannot perceive for example ultraviolet light yet it exists it's there but the frequency range that we see in that our brain registers what our eyes see and the way it comes into our brain we just don't perceive certain things and it's scientifically proven that the spectrum of our vision is 
probably like 1% of what actually is in existence, which is pretty crazy if you think about it that way. So this actually helps you to know that there are always different solutions to your problems. There's always a higher perspective. There's always higher knowledge. That is why certain people that are highly spiritual, that are so-called intuitives or sensitives, right? Because they reside on a different frequency. Sorry, my plant. Because they decide, reside on a, on a different higher frequency, they're able to perceive higher vibrations. They're able to tap into angels and guides and maybe see the future and have prophetic dreams and all of those things. It's because the frequency that they reside on is a lot higher and so these worlds that usually may be a person that is residing in their very lower um, energy centers like a person that is very much in the third dimensional world like doing 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 actions sleeping eating just like very survival based activities i would say is not able to perceive these higher realities. We are always guided, right? The universe is intelligent. God, whatever you believe in, is always guiding us to what we actually need to hear. So if you've been guided to this video, it means that you're ready to work with the law of vibration, which is amazing. So how can you actually apply the law of vibration for yourself? A very intelligent man named Albert Einstein once said that everything is energy and that is all there is to it. Match the frequency of the reality that you want and you cannot help but get that reality. This is not magic. This is science. Albert Einstein said this. Let's dive deeper in how frequency works in manifesting your deepest desires. Imagine your desires as magnetic signals vibrating out into the universe. These signals attract experiences and opportunities that are in perfect alignment with their frequency. It's like tuning into the right channel where everything you desire is waiting for you, right? And so this could be described as kind of like watching a TV channel. When you tune into your TV, there's different channels all happening at once but you're not watching them all at once. You're just watching one specific channel that is on one specific frequency, but you can always tap into another channel and they're all happening at the same time. This is also how reality works. And a lot of the ways, you know, our computers work, how TV works, how radio stations work, it's actually comparable a lot to how our reality works. Some people may say that we live in a giant simulation, a giant, computer game. Whatever your be beliefs are, the law of vibration states that you first need to get on the frequency of your desires before actually having them in your reality. 99% of people want to change their circumstances before they change inside. If I only had that job, if I only had the house, then I would be happy. If I only had the perfect partner, I would be happy. If I only had if I only looked more beautiful, I'd be happy. But this is not how reality works. They have it all backwards. And most people don't understand how this works. And I get it because this third dimensional reality is very persuasive. It's very hard in our modern world to tune out of the noise. Your attention is everything. And these days there is a war, war of our attention. And that's a whole different video. But there is a war on our attention because if they can have your attention, they can direct your attention and they can direct your reality. Okay, I really want you to get this. Pay close attention to where your attention is. Okay. If you focus your attention outside of what's going on in your third dimensional world and you start tuning into your inner world and you start vibrating to the frequency of your desires, how would you feel right now if your desire was fulfilled? How would you feel right now if everything you've ever wanted is happening right now? It's done. That frequency is just like a channel on a TV that's already simultaneously running on a certain vibration. It's already here. That's what most people don't understand. It's already here. Your job is to get to the frequency of that vibration. 
And so your job is to have discipline to tap into that feeling on a regular basis before it shows up in, in your reality. And this is law, it has to, there's no other way. Your subconscious patterns actually have vibrations too. If you have a subconscious pattern, then you can try manifesting as hard as you want. You will repeat certain patterns until you actually look at your subconscious. Remember that you are the creator of your reality. You are the programmer. Take your power back and imagine what it would feel like if you would already have that desire that you wish to have. What self-concept do you have around that? What, are, what is your vibration around that? Just by pretending that you already have it, you get into the vibration of it. And because of the law of vibration, you will start attracting that into your life effortlessly. I always say manifestation is actually effortless. If you think about it, every time you manifested something that you wanted, it probably wasn't hard. It probably came in your life in a very synchronistic way, almost like a very natural way. Neville Goddard talks about subtle threads that kind of pull reality and pull your desires into your existence. And someone as very skeptical might say, well, it would have happened anyway, right? It would have happened anyway, but actually no. Sometimes things come into your reality in a very natural basis, but never in the way that you actually thought that, they, that it would have happened. So in truth, the unfailing laws of the universe are all about being, not about doing, right? And when we follow universal laws, we transcend into receiving mode and we start to magnetize our desires to us instead of chasing after them and that's exactly what we do inside limitless limitless is our exclusive members only community where you gain access to monthly master classes special meditations found nowhere else subconscious programming journal prompts exclusive law of attraction trainings from me live manifestation ceremonies and so much more I wish I could explain the magical and sacred energy that is found inside Limitless and that all our members are feeling, but it's something that you have to experience for yourself. From literally manifesting their dream job the day after doing one of our ceremonies to manifesting thousands of dollars in less than two weeks, these are all things and beautiful transformations that happen inside Limitless. I use the same techniques and mindset work that I use to attract the life of my dreams and that I use on my clients. And the best part, I have a discount code available that will give you 20% off and I'll link that in the description box down below and pinned in the comments. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one.